Okay, it's Andy Graham. I'm in uh, Orland, Indiana. I'm near, um, I'm on the Fawn River and I'm going to do a test. The first uh, test of my, uh, maybe we call it a Davy Dirt Devil, uh, because it's, what the goal is, is that we're going to take this device right here. Hope you can see it. And we're going to uh, drop it in the river. But it, the goal is to clean up uh, wells. I'm in a really beautiful spot. This is Fawn River. I used to work on a farm over that way. Um, there's the car. It's interesting. There's something knocked down the, uh, the reeds over there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down into the water right down there and uh, try to pull up dirt. My goal is to uh, my goal is to have a, a camera crew to help me with this. <laughs> okay, no. The goal is to pick up dirt out of the bottom of the river. But the long-term goal is in the, in the world, there's about 350,000 what I think abandoned wells that are round. They're round wells and they're hand dug. And uh, these wells are become full of dirt. And the people actually will uh, abandon the whole area where they're living because... They need water, right? And uh, this is a real simple device, and it's to clean the dirt. I'm going to show you now how it, how to how it works. Okay, this is to clean wells. If you see in the bottom right there, there's two little flaps, and they open up. It's a real simple device. I it's when you when you put it up like that, they fall back down and they close. I got a, uh, my nephew Brad helped me to put this on top where we can attach a rope and it's pretty heavy. But the, the goal is it's like a bucket that goes down into the water, into the dirt. These things open up, the water gets captured inside. These things come closed and uh, it brings up dirt. So this is the first test. We knew, I know we're needing some uh, iteration, some some changes, but uh, this is the first test of this product. Uh, not a product, it's the first test of this innovation. They have a lot of different types of uh, ways, they call them uh, balers. And I just bought a book from a man, um, I'll, I'll show you the book soon, but I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you a diagram of a well. Okay, what happens in a well, say it's uh, about 20, 20 uh, 40 feet deep or something, the, the bottom of the well slowly fills up with like bottles that they leave in the bo bottom. There's sludge and dirt. And the water comes in and it's, it, it fills up with silt. And that thing slowly over time uh, rises until the, the, the area of water that's been stirred up becomes the whole well. There's no clear water on the top. See, at the top, it's continually settling. And as, as the bottom comes up, that area where it's full of, you know, particulate matter uh, becomes higher. Okay, so what happens is, is as the bottom comes up, the clean water at the top that they're using for, like, uh, washing clothes and um, maybe sometimes drinking, not necessarily, uh, but, you know, a combination of different uses becomes so full of things that they have to put them in water basins and let it settle. And eventually they just give up and they move. But here I'm going to try to test this right now to see what happens. Okay. Going to have to be kind of lucky here because it's not the right kind of camera for this. Okay. So what I've done is tied a rope to the... Uh, the end of the baler, or the Davy Dirt Devil, and I'm going to drop this in here. Here's the first time ever, guys. It's full of water. Not much dirt. Let's try to drop it straight.
Okay, I was able to pull up some dirt pretty good on the one time. I think we need to go back and get this closer to the top and uh, to the end of it and uh, maybe make it more uh, watertight. Uh, Andy Graham, HoboTraveler.com, trying to uh, show you a water baler. Or, see, this is how it works. Okay, really a messy job. So it did work, but not quite as well as I want it, but this is the first iteration, so we'll keep improving on this.